Pranam Swamiji, I am Anugra Nagaij, I am a faculty at the National Institute of Technology, Bhopal. I work in uh, AI, that's artificial intelligence. And a very good friend, come younger brother of mine who unfortunately could not make it today in this event, he talks of AI as an Advaitic intelligence. So I have very small three <laughs> questions for you. We are moving towards the age of AI. I believe in artificial intelligence, he talks about Advaitic intelligence. So uh, we often ponder and we have this question which we wanted to share with you. One, uh, how important it is for us to induct our kids into the AI which he talks about, that is the Advaitic intelligence, what should be the right age and right more to introduce them the philosophies of Advaitic intelligence and not just Advaitic intelligence but also other related philosophies. Two, uh, given the fact that you know we had MDGs, now we have SDGs, but sooner or later we would stumble across uh, this point that in order to remove the conflicts between men and environment or different countries, we would require this kind of synchronicities which you talked about. What did you say SDG? What is that? Uh, Millennium Development Goals, Sustainable Development Goals. After 2030, we might have some other set of goals. Okay. How important it is for us to induct this Advaitic intelligence into the internationally followed goals and protocols so that we can achieve the uh, synchronization and reduce down the conflicts between countries, between men and environment. And third, so primary questions. Huh? <laughs> the last, let's, one, let's, last one. All of them let's are. Let's go one related. by one, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, if Swamiji could, you know, address the question that well, you First of all, thank you for sharing that. Please tell your friend that I'm going to borrow that Advaitic intelligence. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so he would love that. He would absolutely love that. Because, because nowadays, wherever you go, especially in the West, somewhere there'll be a question of AI. People are going to ask uh, questions about AI, about Chat GPT, and all that. By the way, let me share this with you. You will be interested in this audience especially. ChatGPT was designed and released by Sam Altman. Yeah. Now, in Sam Altman's Twitter feed, somebody told me that somebody asked um, Sam Altman, tell us something that you believe which we do not know. And he said, Atman is Brahman. Using those words. Yeah. I said, Atman is Brahman. I read that. Yeah. A person uh, who comes to the Vedanta Society who has worked with Sam Altman told me, he personally told me that uh, Sam Altman is actually very interested in Advaita Vedanta. He regularly uh, uh, studies it, it, it seems. So he uh, should rename it as Advaita Vedanta. Uh, Advaita <laughs> Now, so AI, yes. Um, now your question, uh, uh, first question was? How to introduce the young kids? Yeah, uh, you mentioned it, about a lot of texts. Uh, but uh, but uh, in terms of deliverables to school going kids of let's say 6th standard, 7th standard, what yes. is the right way to introduce them? So should it be done? It should be done. And how can it be done? Through multiple modalities. Uh, it is not through lectures because children will not listen to lectures. Uh, it, is, it can be done through stories. It can be done through games and activities. It can be done through artwork. It can be done by teaching songs and uh, you know chanting, something that's musical, rhythmic, uh, which they will pick up at what is called a pre-critical age. Pre-critical age. Let me share this with you. One of the leading um, uh, in intellectuals in the world today, whom you will never associate with religion, spirituality at all. And she is actually, seems to be a big critic of uh, religion and spirituality. Professor Gayatri Chakravarti Spivak. She is a, a eminent, a very eminent. She's, they call her the queen of postmodernism. She is in Columbia Uni University. Uh, she's an emeritus professor, more, more than uh, 80 years old now. So somebody asked her that, I was there in that occasion, how is it that you are, you are critical of everything about religion, but you are not critical about Vivekananda? Uh, you are not critical of Ramakrishna? Uh, she said, how can I be critical? I absorbed Vivekananda, Ramakrishna, Sharada, all these things. I absorbed at a pre-critical age. As a child, I absorbed all those things. <laughs> so, Beautiful. Beautiful. At a pre-critical age, the highest ideas, noblest ideas, most liberal, open, universal ideas, those should be given to children. I will give you an example. Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, after the independence of India, he was head of a university education commission, 1948. So how, what will be the form of college and university education in the future of India? Uh, that was the uh, first commission established after independence and he was the chairman. In his report, University Education Commission report 1948, one chapter, Dr. Radhakrishnan says, 
we must give spiritual values to the youth of India. And he argues, what about secularism? How can you teach uh, religion, spirituality in, in a secular country in college and university? Dr. Radhakrishna says, there is nothing against the constitution of India. If you teach the highest values, most universal spiritual values taken from different religions, you are not preaching one religion against another religion. That you cannot do. But to teach values, uh, spiritual values, universal values, that is not against the constitution of India. And not only that, in that University Education Commission, he has given a full detailed syllabus based on Upanishads, Gita and all that. Um, first year, second year, third year, what should be taught? The whole thing was ignored by the government of India at that time. That chapter, entire chapter was not taken up. So nothing was given in schools and colleges. But it should be given from childhood, middle school, high school, college and university level. And of course, you don't have to follow what Dr. Radhakrishnan has said, but you can get your own syllabus now. And it's not just books, but multiple modalities. Uh, through Nowadays, there are, what is that um, cartoon kids like that, Hanuman cartoon, Little Hanuman, like that. So many things are there. So many cartoons, games, uh, activities, but also chanting, little ritual, uh, and this idea that we are all one. Children can pick up. So I'm Vivekananda says, it is so simple a truth, even a child can understand it.